election week is upon us. And I know in Washington, it feels a little bit different because so many of us vote by mail. We voted weeks ago, and so we're just waiting for the rest of the country to go to the polls, or maybe we've been waiting to go in person to deliver our ballot, or maybe we've been meaning to fill out our ballot, waiting to read on the propositions uh, and cast our vote. Maybe we've been listening through the debates and discerning our decisions. The United Methodist Church believes in active participation in the political process. Yes, we believe in the separation of church and state. We are not a church state, so to speak. We are a democratic republic, and we are Christians who live in that democratic republic, Christians who have a vote in that democratic republic, and so you are encouraged to vote. I know many of us are anxious about what will happen in this election cycle, who will receive the presidential votes to take office in January, and what the reactions of the other side might be in that process. I know that there's anticipation, there's waiting, there's fear, there's hope, there's trepidation, there's all of that. And right now, we aren't quite there. We don't know yet, and next week will be its own thing, and we will deal with that however we need to as a populace. But in this time, I would encourage you, if you are feeling anxious or worried or frustrated or even angry, to practice some grounding techniques. That's being very present in our body, living the embodied experience through sight and sound and touch and taste listening that involves putting on some of your favorite music maybe even dancing around a little bit to it taking time to set a particular meal one that you'll enjoy and savor to be present in the tastes and the textures maybe getting yourself something beautiful like some flowers and smelling those in or taking those in maybe going for a drive and enjoying the fall colors finding ways to really be present with the world and the people around you. For some of us, the best self-care we can do is to disconnect from social media, just step away from it. All of the heated debates and the vitriol and all of that toxicity. Whatever it is you need to care for yourself in this time, I would encourage you to do it. And whatever happens with this election, reminding us that we have a good and faithful God who is more enduring than our political processes and our political candidates, a God who can hold us and see us through whatever happens in the next few weeks, and a God who calls us to be faithful as followers of Jesus Christ, to show up with love, with grace, with integrity, with truth, the only ones we can control in all of this is ourselves, our own actions, our own words, our own thoughts, our own deeds, and each other one has to be responsible for themselves or not. That's their choosing and their doing, but today I get to do for me, and in that I choose to ground myself surround myself with people that I know and love and trust, focus on the hope that I have for our world, for our country, for our community, for our church, and do my best to offer my best. And I lean into God with prayer so that God might see us through. So I would invite you to pray with me as we anticipate next week's election. Holy and loving God, we want to see you here among us. We want to receive your goodness. We want to be filled with your grace so that we might reflect your grace, your care, your compassion, your justice, and your mercy to our world. We pray for the election process, for all of the candidates who are on the ballots across the nation, particularly our presidential candidates. God, we know that nothing in our government rests with just one person. We do not live in a monarchy or a dictatorship. And yet we know that one role holds significant power in our country and our world. 
We pray for truth. We pray for wisdom. We pray for clarity. We pray for you to show up in the votes of your people and for us to show up as the faithful wherever we might be. Help us to choose our words wisely, that we would truly reflect Christ in the conversations we have, in the posts we make, in the news we read, and our response to it all. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Take care, friends. Be well.